This is a 14 gram mouse I 3D printed in my last video. Today, I'm redesigning it to weigh just 10 grams. After building the first version, I realized there are a few obvious things I could improve. ABS turned out to be noticeably lighter than PLA, so that was an easy switch. There was also no reason for the main module to sit so far back, so I'm pushing it forward to make the whole mouse more compact. And finally, I wasn't happy with how the left and right clicks were mounted using screws, so that's getting a full rework. I started by opening up Fusion 360 and remodeling the shell from the ground up. After a few iterations in CAD, here's where the redesign landed. I shortened the shell by about 10mm at the rear and removed the center beam entirely since the main module provides structural support. I also slimmed down and cut some patterns into the finger supports. The left and right click panel is still printed as a separate piece, but instead of using screws and bulky center pillars like the last version, the body now has integrated pillars on either side. The click panel features matching cutouts that wedge into those pillars, locking everything in place with less weight and fewer parts. Alright, the redesign is ready. There's nothing else left to do than start the print and see how much of a difference the change has made. The printer fired up and I watched closely as the layers started to build. This was the moment to find out if all the design tweaks would come together. Not just on the scale, but in how it actually feels and holds up. Once printed, it was time to assemble. Now for the moment of truth, the weight. It came in at exactly 10 grams, that's over 4 grams lighter than the last version. Once completely assembled, it's surprisingly strong, like obviously if I squeeze it hard enough it's gonna break, but at least for me, just with general use, there's just about no chance I'm going to accidentally break this. And yes the finger supports do have a noticeable amount of flex, but honestly I kinda like the way it feels. You might be wondering why I decided to build a mouse like this, especially since I'm probably not going to use it myself. To be honest, fingertip mice aren't really my personal style. This project was more about pushing the limits and seeing how light a 3D printed mouse can get. And I'm sure it could go even lighter. Even just by removing the scroll encoder, you'd probably save a gram or two. If you enjoyed watching me push this mouse to the limit, then make sure to stick around because I have plenty more ideas coming. Thanks for watching.